Okay, good afternoon. This problem is known as the dog napping. It comes from these old problems. I don't know when these things are even from. I remember them years ago uh, about Dr. J and uh, his work against SAP, Students Against Physics. Anyway, uh, you can read it, but apparently someone has kidnapped Dr. J's dog and left him a ransom note. And they've given him a set of instructions in the problems on uh, how to try and find his dog back. So let's see if we can't draw this one out. I kind of know how this problem runs, so instead of centering it on the paper, I'm going to go ahead and kind of start it down here. I ain't going to lie, this is one where a ruler would not be that bad of an investment to work this problem. But it says, from his house... Dr. J goes 100 kilometers due east. So my first line is 100 due east. All right. Let's see what he does then. He then goes 500 kilometers in a direction of 30 degrees north of east. So if I'm keeping my scale, this is going to be one heck of a long line. So then he turns and goes 500 kilometers at 30 degrees north of east. All right, so when he gets there, he finds a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken that he quickly eats. Uh, let's see, his next direction is... 45 degrees south of east, 100 kilometers. So 45 degrees south of east for 100 kilometers. So 100 at 45 degrees south of east. Now let's see what happens next. Uh, then he goes 350 kilometers due north. So from here, sorry, my paper's going to turn sideways. From here we go 350 due north. All right. Now what? Uh, after going to 350, let's see, blah, blah, some funny stuff. Uh turning 40 degrees north of west and going 300. So he gets to here and turns to 40 degrees north of west and goes for 300. So 300 at 40 degrees north of west now what? Then he goes 200 at 30 degrees south of west. So going all the way up to here. See if I can get marks on the paper. He then goes 200 at 30 degrees south of west. So 200... 30 degrees south of west, and there is the complete picture. What this problem is wanting us to now find is this resultant. So what is the resultant displacement? And at what angle is this resultant? So in the world of... of uh, Hiker in the woods kind of questions. Uh, this is a pretty great problem. So let's go ahead and do our sum of the x's and sum of the y. And I may have to slide the paper around a little bit, but anyway. Sum of the x's. So we'll start down here on the very first vector. It's a straight up positive 100. Then we get to this one. Its x component is in the positive x direction. So we'll say plus 500 
cosine 30. And then we'll come over here. This one still has a positive x component. It's still moving to the right. So we'll write plus 100 cosine 45. Next vector is this 350 north, which has no x component. Now, this 300 has a negative x component. So we're going to write minus 300 cosine 40. So minus 300 cosine 40. And then the last vector here, this 200, it also is a negative x component. So minus 200 cosine 30. And sorry if my writing has got a little small in this one, but it's because I wouldn't have a lot of room. All right. Our sum of the y's. The first vector has no y value, so we can go straight to here. And it's got a positive y value, so we're going to write plus 500 sine 30. The next vector has a negative y component. So this vector is in a negative direction, so we're going to write minus 100 sine 45. And then this 350 is due north, so just plus 350. Next one has a, let's see, it travels up, so it's got a positive y component. So it's going to be plus 300 sine 40. And then we'll come over here. Last one, its y value is negative. So we're going to write minus 200 sine 30 on that one. All right. Finally, we can put these in our calculators. So we've got for the x, 100 plus 500 cosine 30 plus 100 cosine 45 minus 300 cosine 40 minus 200 cosine 30. We even took it a second. 200.7, so we'll say 201. And then for our y's, we've got 500 sine 30, which we could have done that in our head, minus 100 sine 45, could have done that in our head, plus 350, plus 300 sine 40, minus 200 sine 30, equals 622. So now we can draw our final picture. And for our final, we've got a x of positive 201 and a y of, obviously my scale is not here, of 622. And our goal is to find that r and that theta. So r squared would be equal to 622 squared plus 201 squared. Theta would be equal to tangent negative 1 of the opposite over the adjacent, so 622 over 201. Let's see what kind of damage we can't do here. So we've got 622 squared plus 201 square equals square root answer 654. And then shift tan of 622 divided by 201 is 72 degrees. So this would be 654 kilometers at 72 degrees north of east. So here is our complete answer. Written out kind of sloppily, but that's it.
So there is your dog napping question.